song. Okay. Please join me if you know how to sing it also. When the saints shall march to heaven with Jesus as their leader, marching onward like soldiers, yes, sable soldiers, singing and rejoicing, oh, hear the sinners cry. Oh, no, had I known. Oh, no, the sinner's voice I hear. Gone, gone, they are gone. They are gone. Marching to join the glory above. Oh, no, had I known. Oh, wake up, slumber, wake up, and prepare for his glory. Meeting Jesus, your Savior, the captain of the band. Prepare before it's too late, or join the sinner's cry. Oh, no, had I known. May the Lord have mercy on us. Beloved in the Lord, when you read 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 following, the Bible makes us understand that a day is coming, a time is coming, that when we will not all sleep, but then at the sound of the trumpet, with the shout of the archangel of the Lord, the Lord himself shall descend, and he shall rapture his own unto himself. First taking those who are dead, and then those those of us who are alive, all who have been holy and righteous in the sight of the and Lord. Then, Beloved, Beloved, but are we in the number? So yes, we are, we are you in the number? Am so, I in the number? So once we can home, so make a hubi ana. Hey, the Lord is coming soon. His time is up, brethren. His time is up. But then are we ready for His coming? May the Lord be merciful unto us. By the grace of God. Please, as the Lord continued revealing many things to me, um, some of which we have shared with you, some of which we, because of the time, we could not get to share. These um, the next year being the year 2011, around the beginning of the year, one day my mom and I were at the upstairs of our house in Guinea. And by God's grace, even as we were discussing the beauty of heaven and how wonderful the place is like, all of a sudden I found myself singing a heaven Heavenly song. All of a sudden, I found myself singing a heavenly song. And by God's grace, during that time, the presence of the Holy Spirit was so powerful in our midst that I fell to the floor. And the Lord appeared unto me by His grace and told me that He cannot wait to show me the rapture. And beloved, when um the Lord revealed this to me, 
Na Rade Eda we ya di chairman. I saw that there was a plane in the air. Mi hu se na se wiem shen bi e wo e wiem. Please and as the plane was in the air all of a sudden when the rapture took place it, um the lord took away the pilots and some of the people some of the passengers in the plane and all of a sudden the plane started swinging in the air and it crashed Na ade a me hu yen say wiem shen no e wo wiem sa na amunu mu ha na ohwim na fa nipa na wo ka wiem shen no ni pe bi e wo wiem shen ni mu na fa wiem shen na to adonko e e bon sense mu wiem sa na Beloved, it was such a horrible thing. The people got so injured. It was so horrible. But then when as injured as they became, none of them died. Beloved, at that time, man will cry out for mercy. But the Lord would have raptured his own away. Then the spirit of the Lord would have taken the Lord's own to be with the Lord in heaven. A beloved, a heart and very terrible day is coming. A very terrible day is coming. One which we've never experienced in the calendar of our world before. And the Bible makes us understand that what will happen after it shall it, we've never seen it before and nor is it going to ever happen again. Please, beloved, let us not let it be too late for us. The Lord is coming soon. Let us heed his warnings. Will we continue to linger? Will we continue to wallow in the in the mires of sin. The Lord is calling out to you and I. Please let us heed his call. For the time is indeed near. The time is indeed near. After that, the Lord by his grace showed me another scene. And this time around, he made me be a partaker of it to experience he said he wanted me to feel how it will be like there was a car moving and as the car was moving the driver disappeared it was such a horrible thing the car began to move on its own hitting the side of the road and the mud a mental body of the car on that that side got removed and people were so injured beloved and my ear got cut off in that accident some lost their legs it was such a horrible thing even physically after the Lord revealed this I could feel the pain, a very severe pain in my ear. The Lord had to replace that ear. He had to touch that ear for me. Beloved, a time is coming. A time is coming when our faith will be sealed. And when the trumpet of the Lord is to sound, how will the Lord find us? How will the Lord find you and I? May the Lord have mercy on us. After the Lord by his grace revealed that to me, he continued to reveal by his grace. He showed me some people in a restaurant. Restaurant. Or at a food joint and eating place. And as they were waiting for their food to be served, their food. Beloved, 
However, the rapture took place. And the waiters and waitresses that were holding their food disappeared and the food fell to the ground. And beloved, there was such a great chaos. It was as though everyone there became insane. And they were running helter skelter said searching for refuge. But beloved, then there will be no place of refuge. The Bible makes us understand according to Revelation chapter 6. That on that day, people are going to run to the mountains and to the rocks that hide us from the face of he that sits upon the throne. What shall I stand be on that day? May the Lord have mercy on us. And even more painful was that there were pregnant women. You could see that they were very pregnant indeed. But when the rapture took place. You could see that their babies disappeared from their wombs and their wombs became flat. Hey, beloved, a horrible and terrible day is coming. All those women began to act like mad people. All seeking and searching, seeking for their children. But their children were nowhere to be found on this earth. Please, beloved, let us seek the Lord now. Let us seek the Lord now that we have the chance. For there is no more time, beloved. The time is short. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is coming. The King of Kings is coming. The Lord of Lords is coming. We need to be prepared, beloved. We need to be holy and spotless in His sight. And one horrible thing was that after this, demons were released into this earth in their numbers. And they came jubilating. Why? Because though before um, they were working on this earth, the Holy Spirit was restraining them to a point. But now the restrainer had been taken away. And Please, beloved, looking at all these horrible things, let us seek the Lord. May the Lord have mercy. Beloved, where are you going to find yourself when that time is to come? Just ponder over these words. We are going for a quick break. When we come back, there are more to come. May the Lord continue to be with us. Stay tuned. Do not move away from your TV set. Beloved, you're welcome back. This is HSM TV. You're watching Revelation Hour. We've been talking to our sister, Philippa Patricia Crunchy, and she has been sharing with us uh, certain revelations that the Lord has revealed unto her. So without much ado, we would like to go back to her for her to continue with us what the Lord has given unto her. Please let us continue. Okay, please. Beloved. Order four. 
The Lord is coming soon. It is now time to run for our lives. It is now time to run to the cross. It is now time to surrender our all in all at the feet of the Lord. What at all is hindering us from making it with the Lord? Is it the pleasures of the world? The things Things that will fade in by the moment. Please, beloved, let us run to our Savior now. When you look at Genesis chapter 19, verse 17. When the Lord was to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, He said that He sent His angels to Lot. And they told Him that escape for thy life. Escape for thy life. Beloved, there is a greater fire coming. The fire of the wrath of God. It is soon coming, beloved. Soon it will come, beloved. And the Lord is saying, the run for your life. The Lord is saying, escape for thy life. Run away from the city of destruction. Fix your eyes on the celestial city. And run towards that city. For this world has nothing good to offer us. Everything in this world is but dung, beloved. But the, what the Lord has in store for us is beyond human comprehension. The Lord by his grace revealed the rapture to me again in a dream. Around that same time period. And when the Lord revealed it. That time I I was still schooling. And it, in the dream, it was as though my dad had picked me up from school and we were returning home. And as we were returning, in the middle of the road, the rapture took place. And by the grace of God, we all made it. But then in the dream, it was like the Lord caused me to hang in the air to see what will take place. And beloved, it was a terrible sight. And the Lord said, Chimpanzees were sent that way wearing military uniforms. And you could see that they were well trained. And they were being asked to chase the children of God. They were chasing people, those who were trying to refuse the mark of the beast. And beloved, they were so agile and quick. Beloved, they were so strong. It was such a horrible thing. Human beings created by the Lord. Being put through such an ordeal. Oh, beloved, please let us run away from this great wrath of the Lord which will be coming. Let us run away from from all these things that are going to take place after the rapture. I remember that it's um been some years now. My parents were at the whole watching um the television. They had been listening to news. So as they were changing the channels. TV, no, uh, channels, no. They were showing a certain movie on the TV. And beloved, 
the, in that movie, you could see that they were the animals, the apes, they were so trained. They were having these weapons, chasing human beings. It was just a movie, yes, but then it depicts that which is going to happen on that day so clearly. <laughs> And when they saw it, they called for us to see. They called others to watch that. Look, this is that which the Lord revealed, beloved. A terrible time is coming. Are we right in the sight of the Lord? The Bible says, according to Ephesians chapter 5. Verse 25. That the Lord is expecting a bride that is spotless in his sight. One that is holy and pure in his sight. Without wrinkle. Without blemish. Beloved, are we such a bride in the sight of the Lord? Are we truly prepared? Are we ready for the coming of the Lord? It is my prayer that if we are not yet prepared, that the Lord will have mercy on us and prepare us so that on that day we will not find ourselves wanting. I remember in a vision that the Lord by his grace gave to me not too long ago as this one that after the rapture beloved when the evil one is chasing people chasing them trying to force them they will try man will try to run away but then beloved even on that day, the speed with which you can run will be limited. You might think you are running with all your might. But then it's just a short distance you can go. If there is any time to run, it is now. May the Lord help us all. If there is any time to run, if there is any time to make haste, it is not. The Bible says we should seek the Lord while we can still find Him. We should seek our Creator while there is still time. If you see, I should share your book for Wabra and read us for my Wabra. I bet to me a hono. And yes, I bet you, baby, now I catch her. My beloved, we have listened to the word of the Lord. We have listened to the testimony which the Lord through our sister is sharing with us. I believe that a lot is going through your mind right now. You are asking yourself so many questions. I want to ask, how can we be rapture ready? Please, beloved, to be rapture ready, the first and most important thing is to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior, the only Savior of our souls. The Bible, according to John chapter 14, verse 6, makes us understand that he is the only way. He is the truth, and he is the life. No one can go to the Father except by him. And after receiving him as our Savior, we should surrender our all to him. We should leave everything that he says we should leave behind. And we should allow the spirit of the lord to fill us daily walking by his word praying without season dipping ourselves in his blood and the lord will be our strength say ye per say to me a boy who am o shim na the trust ye and say edi kan ye am fire ya brabo en she christo yesu nsa ye am fire christo yesu say ye ye rade ne ye kra agenkwa nothing no 
yentu tu ya namo ensi kristo yesu yesu trust anama ya cha se ewe yu heni tidu na yu mwinsi ya se wano kwa ni wakwa ni wakwa ni wakwa ni obi mwe jane nchengi se wana mreso tis ya betu mi ako ya jane nchengi ya betu mi ako ewe shimbre ni modi ya ne wase ya di ya namo ni na esi si kristo yesu di echi na fi ya breni ya breni na anu ya di ya hu enu kristo yesu moja mnoto ya hu na sebane saadi ya shimbre ni esi enede yu se osi wa china wa minu mi enesu ya nye yiramba Beloved, this is the sole purpose of this program, to prepare us for the coming of the Lord. This is the sole purpose of this program, to, to, to keep us awake for the coming of the Lord, to keep us ready for the coming of the Lord. You may argue, you may say so many things concerning whatever thing you might have heard, but then there is one thing that is sure, there is eternity. There is a certain day where all things are going to come to an end. But then when that moment comes, ask yourself, where are you going to stand? Where am I going to stand? You have heard the word of the Lord. You want to give your life to the Lord. You want to surrender everything unto the Lord. Please say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe that you are God. You came to die for my sins and resurrected for my salvation. I accept you into my life as my Lord and personal Savior. Take dominion over my life. Take rulership over my life. You alone will I worship all the remaining days of my life. So help me, God. Amen. Ana dai mi fawo eye me rade ene me kra agye nkwa wonkoto na me somwo wonkoto na me no benante bedi ma brabo nyina aso hene na me kwa na aka nyina no makoso aye wode a awrade boa me amen so if you have said this i believe that it is time for you to take a step as sister made us understand that after accepting our lord jesus christ as our savior the next thing is to live according to the way of the lord as he is the way the truth and life let us live our lives according to the way of the lord and i believe that we are going to be blessed and on that day we wouldn't find ourselves wanting whether it be it today tomorrow or years to come whenever it may be we wouldn't find ourselves wanting like the the, 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 the wise virgins they prepared and took extra oil in their lamp and then whenever the groom appeared they were willing to trim their lamps and then move along with the groom be a wise virgin decide for yourself now before it is too late you have been watching revelation hour and i have been your host pastor prince crunchy and we've been talking to our sister philippa patricia crunchy god will in same time next week we will come your way with another message from the lord until then Continue to stay blessed. Continue to uh, prepare yourself for the coming of the Lord. Keep your garments stainless and spotless. For a spotless and stainless bride alone is the Lord going to come for. If you have any um, questions, if you have any further inquiries you want to make, if you want to continue working on your salvation, there are numbers that are displayed on your screen. You can contact us on those numbers. I will continue to speak to you, continue to pray with you. And I believe that the Lord is going to do you great help. Until then, bye-bye. May the Lord be with you. HSM TV bringing the undiluted gospel to the world. HSM TV aimed at preparing you for heaven.